Yeah, most definitely. I mean, so I'm, I'm just so certain this, this will, you know, this, this love I have with this gal will last forever. So yeah, certainly the, the clients you get, you know, will be, will be friends of friends of friends, and, and other people that run into the site and realize that the opportunity to meet somebody is, is uh, unprecedented in this situation. It really is. Why the fiancé visa? Well, there are probably three great reasons to consider the fiancé visa versus some of those other visa options that you might apply for. And one of those is that it is most likely the visa that your girl is going to get. So you're in love with a beautiful girl from another country and you've decided that you're so in love you can't be apart, you want to bring your worlds together. How are you going to do that? Some of the options that you might consider are the obvious K-1 fiancé visa. So that involves an application that you submit here in the States. And and it'll eventually get approved, go to the U.S. Embassy in her country, she'll go to that U.S. Embassy, she'll have an interview, and she'll more than likely get her visa, and that whole process takes about 90 days to six months, depending on what country she's from. Other options include the student visa. Obviously, in order for her to be granted a student visa, some guys don't realize this, but she would have to apply for and be accepted in a university or college here in the States. Somebody would have to pay for that, and she would have to plan to attend college or university while she comes here in the States. What about the work visa? Guys will say, can I just get her a work permit? Well, you can you can certainly apply for a work visa to sponsor her for a work visa, but she would have to have a specialized uh, field of employment. That's hard to get from the general labor pool here in America, and you obviously would have to hire her and sponsor that visa. So some of these are complicated, and unless she really qualifies and you're in line with the things we just talked about she's probably not going to get a student or a work visa unless you follow through with all those things which are quite involved Of course, there's also the spousal visa, which means the two of you would get married in her country and then go to the U.S. Embassy and apply as a married couple to bring your spouse here to the States. Some couples do that. I've yet to talk to a couple, and I'll admit I haven't talked to many, probably a dozen or so in the last couple of years, who have done a spousal visa. And it would appear that the U.S. Embassy attaches a little more scrutiny to the spousal visa process than they do to the fiancé visa process because most of the spousal visas that are granted are taking about eight months to a year, sometimes longer than a year to get. Now that's a long time if the two of you are ready to be together and bring your lives together. In all likelihood, we recommend that the fiancé visa application is the right path. It's the shortest, most predictable path for you and your girl to get. And that's probably the biggest reason why you would consider doing a fiancé visa versus other visas. Number two, there are advantages to having the fiancé visa. One of them is that it actually takes three to six months to get a fiancé visa. And that's usually pretty helpful for a lot of couples. We do romance tours, right? We take guys on trips to meet a lot of very, very beautiful women. A lot of relationships are started. People fall in love sometimes at first sight. I know it sounds crazy, but we see it all the time. And sometimes guys ask the question, when I meet a girl and we fall in love, can I bring her back to the States after my romance tour? And the answer is, no, you can't. And if you could, most girls wouldn't be crazy enough to do such a thing. You need time to move that relationship forward. You need time to get to know each other. You need time to test your relationship in all kinds of ways before you both know that you are deeply in love and ready to do that fiance visa. So that, that three or six month visa processing time, I think actually helps everybody to succeed in the end. You have time to move that relationship forward, to test it, and to prove your love for each other before she comes here to live happily ever after.
gets her fiance visa is also a real advantage for a lot of couples. So number one, it's probably the most likely visa she's going to get. Number two, it's got certain advantages that are really important to couples who are in the fiance visa process. And third, the process for the fiance visa is very reliable and very predictable. Most couples who apply for a fiance visa will in fact get one. Interested? Learn more at... If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Then click on the notice bell to get notified every time we add something new.